Sometimes I get asked, what's the difference then between a viatical settlement and a life settlement? Well, the words are actually used interchangeably quite a bit. Uh, and in some ways, the laws, even in the states, use the words interchangeably, so it can get confusing. But in general, viatical settlements, for the most part, refer to somebody who has a terminally ill disease. And the way most states define that is they have a life expectancy of two years or less. A life settlement, on the other hand, does not necessarily mean you have to have a terminally ill disease. Uh, life expectancies can be as long as 10, 15, sometimes even 20 years, and people can qualify for a life settlement. So the words used interchangeably sometimes, um, and it can cause some confusion. However, for the most part now, the state laws uh, work together uh, under one set of legislation, although some state laws have specific, uh, I would say, regulations surrounding when it gets down to somebody who's actually terminally ill for a viatical settlement. So it'll be important to know the difference if you are considering a life settlement or you, or if you're an advisor, maybe one of your clients are considering a life settlement, the differences. And I can help you out with that and investigate if you'd like. If you'd like to know more about that, simply email me at phil, P-H-I-L, at S like strategic, F-I-N, as in the first three letters of financial, and S, as in services.net. So that's phil at sfins.net or give me a call 619-337-0890. I look forward to hearing from you.